astronomers have located a rare peacock star system in our galaxy. However, they can only predict a future filled with doom. A rare star system has been found in our Milky Way galaxy, but according to astronomers, it is doomed to end in a massive outburst. So therefore, there's only doom and gloom for this beautiful peacock star system. Peacock star system resembles a cosmic pinwheel. It is located 8,000 light years from our Earth. It is so rare that astronomers never expected to locate a star system like this one in our Milky Way galaxy. It is known as a wolf ray star system. Only some massive stars evolve into wolf rays as they approach the end of their lives. This final stage of a star lasts only a few hundred thousand years, but in the lifetime of a star, that's extremely short. Only one out of a hundred million stars are massive enough to become wolf rays, and a binary pair of two stars like this one is even more rare, which is what astronomers first discovered when they found the star system in 2018. Inside the peacock star system, there are two huge stars that are orbiting each other, as well as a single companion star that is bound to both of them by gravity. The companion star is also probably a wolf ray star that is shedding its gas, helping to create the intricate shape of the dust cloud in the peacock star system. The two stars are approximately 10 to 15 times more massive than our sun and are both more than 100,000 times more luminous and in comparison to the surface temperature of the sun which is about 9,941 degrees Fahrenheit, these two stars reach a blistering heat of 45,032 degrees Fahrenheit and even hotter. According to researchers, the system has been named Apep after the serpentine Egyptian god of chaos. The star system was first detailed in a study that was published in November 2018. Astronomers have learned more about this rare gem and they have also learned more about the massive stars that are orbiting each other. They orbit each other every 125 Earth years, and they orbit each other at a distance that is comparable to the size of our solar system. Binary stars release huge amounts of carbon dust, which whirls around in the screaming stellar winds created by the stars. The stars orbit each other causing the dust to look like a dusky glowing tail. Spiral plume within this peacock star system is one of only a few spiral plumes that have ever been discovered. They thought that the name Apep was fitting for this star system because the dust plume looked like a serpent battling the central star. These incredibly bright but hot stars are so gorgeous but they are doomed. To end their lives in a huge outburst. The next step is usually a supernova outburst that results in the star becoming a black hole. According to researchers, aside from the beautiful and stunning image that they have received from this star system, the most remarkable thing about this peacock star system is the way the expansion of its beautiful dust spiral left us totally awed. According to researchers, the dust seems to have a mind of its own. It floats along much slower than the extreme stellar winds that should be driving it along. Researchers looking at the system were also able to use high resolution imaging capabilities at the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile to study the system and analyze and assess the process that created the spiral plume. The magnification required to produce the imagery 
was like seeing a chickpea on a table 50 kilometers away. Astronomers were also able to create a model that matched the structure of the spiral in the star system and this has enabled them to understand the extreme forces creating the spiral in the peacock star system. The dust spiral keeps expanding at a rate that is four times slower than the speeds of the stellar winds, which differs from other wolf rate discoveries in the past. Speeds of the stellar winds produced are just mind-blowing, according to the astronomer. They are spinning off the stars about 12 million kilometers an hour. That is 1% the speed of light. That's also 100,000 times faster than our Earth's hurricanes. Yet the dust being produced by this system is expanding much more slowly, at about a quarter of the stellar wind speed. The fast rotation of the stars is likely responsible for this. And this fast rotation sends stellar winds in different directions at varying speeds. The dust expansion that they are measuring is driven by slower winds launched near the star's equator. This information indicates that a PEP may actually create a gamma ray burst when it has when it reaches the end of its life. According to astronomers, time is running out for this system. The system is also exhibiting all the usual extreme behavior of wolf rates. A PEP's main star looks to be rapidly rotating. This means that it could have all the ingredients to experience an outburst of a long gamma ray burst when it goes supernova. Gamma ray bursts are some of the most energetic events that occur in the universe. Fortunately, this one will not impact Earth thanks to the star system's axis of rotation. But if it were to have an impact on Earth, the burst could rip Earth's ozone layer and expose our planet to all of the ultraviolet radiation streaming out from the sun. There has been a flurry of research into wolf rate star systems. These really are the peacocks of the stellar world. Discoveries about these elegantly beautiful and gorgeous star systems, whilst potentially dangerous, they are causing a real excitement in astronomy. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this beautiful rare and gorgeous peacock star system that was discovered by astronomers in our Milky Way galaxy. However, its future will end eventually and there will be a huge outburst in the form of a supernova. Who knows what will happen? However, scientists have stated that it will have no impact on our Earth. And that information is something that we are extremely grateful for. But what about other undiscovered star systems that are currently going through the wolf rate stage? Do you ever wonder if there's any that is close enough to the Earth to be potentially hazardous to our ozone layer and to the rest of the planet? Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.